we obviously, uh, I don't think anybody would doubt that we fought like hell. Uh, we fought like uh, complete uh, savages and left it all on the battlefield um, for Joaquin Guzman. I mean, this is America, and no matter who the defendant is, you still have to fight to the death. No matter what people think, what society thinks, what the government thinks, we took that obligation incredibly seriously, and as I said, we left nothing. Uh, 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 let, everything was left on the battlefield. And uh, it's been an absolute honor and a pleasure, an honor, and I mean that, to represent Joaquin Guzman, because if you can't represent Joaquin Guzman as a defense lawyer, you shouldn't be representing anyone. And I would say that uh, working with these two lawyers, we were thrown together in the most difficult of circumstances, uh, Bill, Eduardo, myself, and uh, you know we meshed somehow. We figured it out. We meshed together, and uh, these are two friends I'll have for life. Um, I appreciate all your <clears throat> coverage. It's an important day, I suppose, in American history. But the fight is not over. We'll continue to fight for Joaquin Guzman until our last breaths. Did you speak to him afterwards? And if so, what did he tell you? He did. I mean, look, he he was very clear to us. He's a very upbeat guy. Um, and he was he was bringing our spirits up, um, which is surprising. Usually it's the other way around. We're consoling a client who's just been convicted of counts that will ensure that he'll spend the rest of his life in prison. This is a positive guy, and he has always been positive with us. He's always tried to, to bring our spirits up. And look, we judge him differently than you judge him. We judge him differently than society judges him. We judge him differently than the government judges him. We judge him how he is with us. And the guy's always been a gentleman, he's always been supportive, he's always been happy and uh, appreciative of all of our efforts, and, and that's how we leave. But. Oh, one, one of the things you have to keep in mind, though, with Joaquin, when he came in here, he was already presumed guilty, unfortunately, by the media, by the government, by everybody. And that is an extremely tough case to defend. We weren't just uh, fighting the evidence, we were fighting the perception of what Joaquin was, and we hope to get that out in trial uh, before the jury. So. What's that? Of course we're going to appeal. I mean, there was a, a, a tremendous amount of issues that were uh, were created here. Um, we felt that um, the cross-examination of cooperators was greatly restricted, overly restricted. That's going to be an important grounds for appeal. Obviously, the whole extradition process uh, will be a ground. Um, you know, it's too early to think about that now. We're sort of trying to digest it. I mean, this is not, emotionally, this is not an easy thing for any of us. Um, but. We'll think about the appeal tomorrow, <clears throat> but I can assure you that the appeal will be fought just as this trial was fought, and as you all saw, uh, this is balls to the wall, and that's how we fight cases.